Hey guys, it's your girl Fairy Queens here and welcome back to another video. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing amazing. Today I am going to be rating all of the Wizard 101 Ravenwood professors. I'm going to be judging them in three different categories. One is going to be their looks, like their hotness level. Two is going to be their personality. And three is going to be their outfit. You already know Sarah's straight to wear dress and his drip is questionable. Um, why is there a tree hint in front of me? Oh, why did you come up to me? Okay, she's just running away. Okay. And on that note, let's go ahead and get into the video. So we're going to start out with Halston Maelstrom. I've got that pen and paper and I am ready to be brutally honest. So first we have looks. Well, he is a frog. He's a frog. If you know anything about me, you know that I am into tall guys. If you're under six foot, leave. And Halston looks like he's like maybe a foot tall at best. He's also green. He doesn't have a nose. He's just not really my type. Oh, he's bald. <gasps> he's bald. I'm going to be generous and give him a two. Sorry, Halston, but a two is all you're getting from me. As for his personality, though, he's obviously really confident in himself. Like, look at his pose. He's got his hand on his hip. He's like swaying back and forth. I don't know what he's doing with his mouth. I don't know what that indicates about his personality. But yeah, he's really confident. I like confident guys. I've personally never really had any issues with him. So personality wise, I'm gonna give him a nine. And on to the fit. Okay, so he has a cane. I don't know if the cane is supposed to indicate that he's an old man. I don't know if he's having some trouble walking. But like his outfit? He looks rich. Like, he's fancy. Honestly, maybe the cane is indicating he's old. Maybe he's a sugar daddy. A sugar daddy frog? I'm gonna give him a 10. He has a 2, 9, and a 10. So his total score is... BRB calculator time. His total score is 7. And on to the next one. Okay, so next we have Lydia Grey Rose. I'm gonna be harsh. I'm gonna be mean. Looks wise, she's obviously going on 97. She's not what I would consider beautiful. She's also really, really, really small. But she is a fairy and I'm a fairy too, so. I guess I'll give her a one solely because she is a fairy, that's it. Personality though, she is a sweetheart. She has never, ever, ever made me feel intimidated and she's always been so sweet and welcoming. Honestly, she's one of my favorite professors, so she gets a 10. The fit though, uh, I mean, I guess it's like fitting for her age. It's fitting for your age, Grace. So she got a 1, 10, and a 3, so that makes her overall score a 4.6. We're gonna round up. We're gonna give her a 4.7. The outfits what did her in. She could use a few tips from Halston. Next, we are on to Dahlia Filmea. Okay, her looks. She's got an amazing body. The hair is a bit strange. Like, I'm not really sure what's going on with her hair. I get it, it's supposed to be a flame, but... Oh. But I love her makeup and she's got a killer body. So I'm gonna give her looks an eight. Personality, she's giving girl boss. But also sometimes I feel like she'd kind of be like a beach, if you know what I mean. Honestly, I'm gonna give her personality a seven. As for the fit, literally a million out of 10. But for the purpose of this video, I'll just make it a 10. Here are her ratings so far, which leaves her with an 8.3, the highest rating so far. And you know what? I'm gonna round up, I'm gonna make it an 8.4. She deserves that 8.4. Love you, Dahlia. And now we are on to Cyrus Drake. I don't know why I capitalized the D and nothing else, but <gasps> maybe I subconsciously capitalized the D because he's got a big D. Maybe I subconsciously did that. I mean, look at it. I didn't capitalize any of the other letters, but I capitalized the D. Anyway, his looks. Okay, so like he doesn't have hair. He also looks pissed. But like, hear me out. Something about it is like hot. I'm giving his looks a six. I know it's controversial, but like, I don't know why. Oh, ooh, he just got mad at me. He wanted a higher score. Fine, you can get a seven. Personality? Well, it depends if you're into it or not. <laughs> like, he obviously hates us at first. So like, he's really, really, really mean at first. But later on, I don't know. I know he's supposed to be mean. I get it, but 
Am I crushing right now? I think I'm crushing. I'm giving his personality a seven too. The fit though, the fit, that's like a one. Like that, like what are you wearing? Okay, here are Cyrus D's results. He got a seven, seven and a one, which leaves him with a five. If he wore something else, he would have had a higher score, but. Next, next we have Melinda Wu. As for her looks, I mean, she's a fat cow. And I'm not calling her a fat cow. I mean, I'm just like, she's a fat cow. I mean, she does have makeup on. Her hair is kind of cute. I like cows, but is she like my type? No. I'm gonna give her a three. Personality though, absolutely 10 out of 10. Her personality is like one of my favorites as well. I think she is so sweet and so kind and so caring. And I love her for that, so she's getting a 10. The fit? I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's obviously fitting for her. Would I wear it? No, but it's not bad. I'm gonna give the fit a six. Actually, where are your shoes? She's not wearing shoes. She's getting a five. Here are her final results and her total is a six. I've seen worse. Next, we are on to Dwargan. <sighs> Dwargan. His looks. He's got a hunchback. One of his eyes look bigger than the other one. His hands are like abnormally large and his feet are abnormally small. He's got like terrible bags, like terrible bags. I guess I like his fingernails. Sorry, Dwargan, but you're getting a one. Personality, it's never really stood out to me. You're like the fake death professor. The fit, I mean, I guess it's like fitting for you, but don't really know what's going on here. You've got like a cloak that's covering not only your head, but your hunchback as well. Um, plus why are you wearing a belt there? Putting a belt over your shirt was like so 2008. He's getting a three for the fit. Here's his final results and his total is a two! This man's really out here with the lowest score. And now we are on to last but not least. Well, maybe least. I don't know yet. Al has read who just fell. He's obviously like ancient. Like, we thought Lydia Grey Rose was old. This man's is like 400. So, not my type. Um, his eyelashes are cute. Oh, you okay? Um, his beard is questionable. He also has this like hunchback thing going on. And does he, oh, is he missing teeth? Damn, he's really old. Oh, and also, you know, he's a crocodile. Uh, looks, I'm gonna give you a two. It's higher than Dwargan. That means that I'm more into him than I am Dwargan. And Dwargan's a human. And he's, an, he's a crocodile. Anyway, personality, it's charming. He's obviously very wise. I feel like he could teach me a lot about life. Eh, that is if he doesn't die. And he seems humble too. Honestly, I'm giving his personality a nine. The fit, um, oh my God, it feels wrong like judging him for this because he's so old. Like he's like a senior citizen. But I did it to Lydia, so I can do it to him too. I like your necklace, I like your jewelry. You know, I think it would be weird to see him in pants. Like, can you really imagine him in blue jeans? You know what? Your outfit's fine. Your outfit's fine. I'm giving his outfit a six. His looks are a two, his personality is a nine, and his fit is a six, which leaves him with a total of 5.6, which I am rounding to 5.7. So the total results are... In seventh place, we have... Dwargan! In sixth place, we have... Lydia Grey Rose. In fifth place, we have Cyrus. In fourth place, we have Al Hazred. In third place, we have Moolinda. And in second place, we have Halston. And first place is Dalia Thalmea. I'm not too shocked with these results, honestly. Do you agree with my ratings or no? Let me know what you guys would rate the professors down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.